Hey, let's take a moment today and learn how to draw a herky. I had really fun doing this project and I hope you do too. You can design the background if you wish. So let's start off with our pencil and paper and let's get to drawing. When I got started on drawing herky, I had a picture beside me so that I kind of knew what I wanted to draw and how it all looked. So you'll notice that I'm drawing very lightly right now. I draw super lightly so that I don't have to worry about erasing a bunch by the time that I'm finished. The thing that I'm thinking about right now is I'm just trying to figure out, like I drew a circle for his head, I drew circles where his hands were, and I just drew the overall basic shape of the body, and then I'm gonna get to the details later. Like for instance, I wouldn't wanna spend 20 minutes on his arm and then have his body not match where his arm is at. Do you understand what I'm saying? Start out with a basic sketch really, really lightly, just so you can figure out where his arm placement's gonna be, where his other arm's gonna be, and I'm looking at like the relationship of where all those items are going to go. Just a real quick sketch. Like you just saw, it really didn't take me that long to start drawing out some simple circles drawing some lines so that I have a basic idea of where his arm is gonna go. Okay, so then once I have that done, you can see I've already started in on the head. I like to just start with the part that's most interesting to me, and I felt like the head looked pretty cool. That's something I wanted to start with. So you'll notice that my lines are getting a little bit darker right now. And if, I fe if you feel like I'm going too fast or you wanna watch something again, feel free to pause the video and go back, um, whatever works best for you. And so as I got started, um, I'm just really paying attention to looking at the lines and the shapes that I see. Okay, so when I got started on the beak, when I got started on the eyes, I'm just basically looking for the overall shapes. And again, when you start light, you wanna get it, you know, like uh, you, you want to start your pencil work really lightly so that it doesn't take a lot of time to erase and you're just starting out with a basic light sketch. You know, it'd be silly for me to start with a Sharpie marker right now. Okay, so let's just go ahead and continue on. I went ahead and I drew the tail and the other key thing that I'm going to talk to you about right now is I'm looking at relationships from where things are at compared to other things. So when I basically look at my picture beside, I look at how the leg that I'm drawing right now is at in relationship to where the head is at. Okay, because remember, learning to draw is really about learning to see. So I'm constantly looking at the relationship of how close is this leg to where the head is? Where does the tail end? Does it touch the arm? And so when my basic picture shows me that, then I start drawing some of those things. So I'm constantly looking at relationships of where things are placed. The other little tip that I'll give you that, um, that has helped me see things is sometimes I'll look at my image or my picture and then I'll look at my drawing upside down. So I might just take the image that I'm looking at and my drawing and turn them upside down because it'll force my eyes instead of thinking about you know, like making, like what's wrong and, and my eyes can't figure out what doesn't look quite right. When you turn it upside down, it's just a different way of seeing things and you might see those relationships of, of placement. You know, when I was talking about the leg compared to the head, you'll start to see those relationships a lot better. Okay, so let's just go ahead and continue drawing out the rest of the body. I like to start out nice and slow and then those basic guidelines that I started with you'll notice start getting erased. I felt like that hand when I looked at the relationship where it was placed compared to where the head of Herky was placed probably could have been a little bit lower. Now let's take a look a little bit what I'm doing right now. Once I feel confident or feel like the basic overall shapes, the basic overall lines look pretty good, my lines are getting darker. I feel more confident. I feel like I've got it in the right place. And so my, the pressure of my pencil gets a little bit darker too. So once again, that saying is, 
Start light till you've got it right and then feel free to darken it. Okay, this herky is coming along pretty good right now. Now, let's go on to the easier steps. We're gonna go ahead and take a black marker, start outlining and going around the areas that I want black, and making it so that you can start to see herky a whole lot better. All of those drawing lines are really starting to stand out now. Cool. Now I'm just gonna use my marker again. I fast forwarded it quite a bit because I'm just taking my marker and starting to fill in the areas that I want black and coloring them in black. I'm also grabbing my yellow crayon and coloring my herky yellow. You'll also notice I grabbed a little bit of orange and made some highlights. Lastly, you can leave herky the way it is right now or if you're like me and want to put a little bit of designs or details into the background, I'm just gonna go ahead and add some stars, add a little bit more yellow and orange just to make it look gold, and voila, there we go. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you had fun drawing Herky.